It's been 13 days since the Africa final, and we still don't know if Eric Nag is going to stay or if he's going to leave. It's been shambolic. I won't lie to you. It just feels like Lazers 2.0 with the Ineos group, so silent, so slow. How can you take 13 days to decide if this manager is going to stay or if he's going to go when you have been doing a review since you came in at the club? But according to several news outlets, it says that Ten Hag remains on holiday and isn't involved in discussions with Ineos over the season review. He will want clarity over his future sooner rather than later. And he also says there's a reluctance to sack Ten Hag without a clear plan to appoint a replacement. And why numerous managers have been linked, Ineos want to make sure that if they decide to sack the manager, it is to make the right appointment rather than changing for the sake of it. <laughs> and talking about making the right appointment, it has been reported that Ineos have had Gareth Southgate. <laughs> Ineos have had Gareth Southgate towards the top of the list of potential replacements for Eric Ten Hag. He is still highly thought of by key figures at the club, including incoming sporting director Dan Ashworth and Sir Dave Braceford. For now, his serious commitment keeps him out of reach. And uh, on next thing, he says that Ineos are continuing to weigh up Eric Ten Hag's future and have put no time scale on delivering a review into the 2023 Slash 24 season. Appointing Gareth Southgate would be the most stupid decision ever. Because Dan Ashworth, ha- our new incoming director of, um, sporting director and one of the executives at, as Inos Group have close link with Gareth Southgate. So it could be true or it could be false. But over the, over, um, the months, it's been high, it's been regularly reported that, um, Man United wants Gareth Southgate. So now we have to treat it as serious. But if we appoint Gary Southgate, it would be a very, very stupid decision. Tell me in the comment section below. Would you want Gary Southgate to be the new Manchester United manager? What has he achieved? What, what are the English, English, uh, English um, team playing? We want to play, um, possession based attacking football. I want to control games. Want to score goals off the wings. Um, um, want to create chances for our striker. Are England playing that style of football? Or are they playing boring football that I can't even describe? Because this manager picks his favorite. He has so much good players at the club, at the, uh, in, at his, um, disposal in the, in the English um, team, but they haven't done anything wow. And they're not playing anywhere close to, um, you know, the likes of, um, Germany, Spain, and the likes. So where exactly are we going to go with this kind of manager? And how will you take that step? First, first things first, first things first, first things first. How many other clubs have been linked with Gary Southgate over the years? None. But it is us, Manchester United, the biggest club in England, that will go for a Gary Southgate to come and be the coach under international players, the, the media, and every other thing. The media will probably love him because he's an Englishman. They will probably favor him. Um, but after some years, they'll turn, they'll turn their backs on him. Um, how can a manager that hasn't handled international players come in and start handling Bruno Fernandes, Casemiro, um, and other international players we have at the club? How exactly is he going to do that? And why do we want to sign to... It's, it's just disappointing if that ever happens. But of course, he has Euro to focus on that ends in July. And we can't sign him because we will have to wait until July to get him. And if we are going to have a big summer and start preparing for next season, how can we send a manager that is not going to be available until July? It makes absolutely no sense. So probably Gary Southgate is not going to happen. Maybe in the future, but right here, right now, it sounds unlikely. Except the Ineos group actually do wait for him. That would be crazy if they actually do that. But for me, I don't know what's going to happen. They act my stay. It might go. For me, I don't know. It's like 50-50 because the, the reports are just confusing. But the fact that they're waiting so long to decide if they actually decide tomorrow that they're going to sack him, how long would it take them to sign a new manager? And they have, if they are already talking to someone who might probably have already gotten these leaks already. But if they do sack Elton Hag and out of nowhere we sign a manager would, that hasn't been reported and we didn't know who it's going to be until when it was announced, then that would be very, very surprising. But we know United are 
United leak like a sieve. No news gets past us. So if the hang is going to leave, and if we already have a concrete option that we're negotiating with, we probably would know. So for me, probably Eric Nag stays, but it's been almost two weeks and there have been no clarification on this. It just feels like Ineos 2.0. Uh, it feels like Glazers 2.0 with the Ineos group and I have no trust for them. I'm highly disappointed in them. They would have to do a lot over the summer transfer window for me to even back them and that's going to involve selling as many players as possible and getting the right players in. But let's see what happens with that. Whenever anything else feature is clarified, we'll get that news here on Dias United. The one stop for everything Manchester United. If you want the act to stay, um, then you are with me. But if you want him to go, then that's fine. Let's see what the Ineos group decides. Because at the end of the day, it is not up to us, but those in charge of making that decision. I will see you all on the next one.